Okay, so... Um, looks like we're here. Um, so we're gonna be doing some questions and stuff if you guys want, but, uh, basically it's just, uh, building the monkey kid. Set. What year is it? It is 2020. <laughs> yeah, liking the stream probably helps. Um, I'm gonna check the stuff real quick. Hang on. So, um, before we get like too into it, this is uh, 259 pieces, 8006. It's for 6 plus. So. Um, I'm pretty tired actually. I'm really, really feeling pretty tired, but we're gonna just do it. We're gonna power through. We got some box art graphics on the top. These are kind of fun because I think they look like the show. There's apparently gonna be a Cartoon Network show or something. I don't know. Uh, UNSC Bricks says, What's your favorite Lego theme? Uh, Castle, probably. I mean, I can sell it to you, I guess, if you really want it. Man, but um, it's like thirty dollars, and it'll be it'll be somewhere soon. Like I guarantee, by the time I was to ship it to you or something, it would already be. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I guess really, I have no idea when they come out. But they're showing up already in stores. So, anyways, let's look at the back of the box real quick, like. Back of the box has a. It feels like a space theme. It's like a very black background, and there's the hoverboard thing and the dragon horse. Uh, we also have Bob over here. Bob is probably the redeeming feature of this set, but we'll have to find out, I suppose. This set is 60 where you live, Grant. Damn. Um, let's see, Cousin wants to know what's the best theme in your opinion of the 2010s? I don't know. Did we get anything fun in the 2010s? Did we get, did we get Hero Factory then? Uh, bottom of the box, looks pretty normal. Uh, here we go, this is a big boy time information. It says, Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, China, and the Czech Republic. Pretty boring, actually. Um, the good, the good news is though, is we do get May, Monkey Kid, uh, Snort, and Bob. Bob again being the, the only good thing. What's that music? I don't know. It's just music. If I get enough people saying they don't like the music, we can turn it off or something. But like, yeah, yeah, the piggy food truck's pretty good. Um, so Bob isn't the only redeeming character in the theme for sure. Pigsy is a cool guy. Um, the giant blue monk isn't that bad. The monkey kid doesn't look that bad. You got Jack Stone in 2010? Yeah, so Jack Stone probably. Jack Stone's really good. Yeah, so just cut the box open. And let's, uh, let's take a peek. So we got, oh no, this is bag number four, so that means we got at least four bags to build. Um, here's the real folded instructions, and that, and, uh, okay, bag one is barely a bag. Oh, damn. Look at that. Is that a brick separator in teal colors? So we got two build books. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. I did it, guys. I got a double pull. I got two of the same sticker sheets from the Lego. So that's cool, but they're bent to hell, so mediocre. <sighs> so, um, I guess we start with the first instructions. Let's peek in here. 
anything super neat is telling us, look, it's got the color right, but it looks like it's literally a Photoshop of the other one, because it's not even, that doesn't look like a real brick separator. Um, so bag one builds the hoverboard and snort, damn it, I was excited. And then two and three build the bike, part of the bike, and my May? May. Her name's May. Um, and that's what's in this book. So if we just... Ooh. Ooh. Do we just want to build this first? Do we want to build the fortification first? Yes. Bob is the goat. Well, he's a bull, but he's the goat. So yeah, number four is Bob and the thing. Let's do that first. I don't care about the other stuff. Yeah, you know your line's expensive when the cheapest set has brick separator, that's real true. Um, I can't... <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. The, the green, the regular green brick separators were in old sets. I don't, I don't know what sets they come in, if they come in anything current. Uh, yeah, no, this is probably the closest we'll get to Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is based on the same myth, the Journey to the West, like originally Dragon Ball was, not Dragon Ball Z and stuff. Okay, here we go. Bag four, baby! And there's a sub bag with lots of little pieces. Is that some prints? Those are those guys. Yeah, this, so, so I don't know how much information you all know about the whole- Oh! Look, a skull. Very cool set. Um, so I don't know how much information you guys know about this, but uh, basically I get a- I get a text from m and um, late Wednesday night and he says, Hey, you, um, I guess it was Wednesday afternoon or something, I don't know exactly, but he says, do you want to go you know, on a road trip to Atlanta, and I said, I guess so. Um, and he said, it's going to be like tonight at 3 a.m., so I was like, I guess we can do that, and we did. But basically, I've been up since, well, I got up at like 1 a.m. to drive to his house. Bob, what do you got to give him his horns? So he's got these cow horns in, um, is that dark pink? I don't know. Mayenta. Look at him. Good guy. And then you give him his hammer. And you do the work. Woo. <laughs> yeah, so. Anyways, Lego Pete lives in Atlanta. Atlanta's got, got the set out already, man. You gotta get over there. So we, um, we, then I got, we, so we drove to Atlanta and we hung out for a little bit, did some shopping, we went to the dwarf house. Now, there's gonna be a whole vlog, so make sure to check back, subscribe, you know, do that stuff. Um, anyway, so then, so like I got home after like leaving and everything, I got home the next day at like, um, that's not, this is the one I want. Cool. I got home at... 3 a.m. So it was like 26 hours plus like I was awake before I left obviously for it and stuff and I didn't go straight to sleep because you know there's you gotta so man it's a dirty world out there there's so much stuff going on not fun cool stuff you know bad annoying stuff Two of these? Yes, two of these. Do, do. So the instructions are kind of cool. I'm going to point this out. Um, they're like, they've got the character walking and it's slightly further on each page. You see that? So he's like literally journeying to the west as you build. Um, and it's kind of in a mauve color, almost like a scroll or something. Not mauve. Is mauve? No. Um, Damn it, um, Manila, Manila color. That's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, so I got bad news, man. This is the only one I got. This is the only one I bought because the so 
Um, I went with Justin and Ryan, just too good and M and R's Ryan, and they bought all. Well, there weren't that many sets. There were only like two copies of some of the big sets and stuff. I think. Anyways, I didn't. I didn't attempt to buy a lot of the sets. Anyways, they're big boys and out of my price range or care range. The only other set I might get is probably the poly bag and maybe maybe the food truck. But I'm. I don't think I want to buy the food truck. It's too expensive. Grant subbed yesterday. Welcome, Grant. Good job. Can you get the other sets? No, I'm not going to get the other sets. Um, Ryan and Justin M and R and Just Too Good do have the other sets. So you guys can watch stuff there, I suppose, if you really wanted to. Man Doctor? No, not Man Doctor, the other one. We did we did a lot of fun stuff though. We had a we had a great time on the, the road trip. We did a live stream last night on um Yeah, there's um have you guys not seen the polybag? Anyways. <laughs> Man, there's always there, there's always a polybag. Um so Anyways, the, um, we did some live streaming on Instagram, so if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you missed our... Well, first of all, we had a Q&A going for lots of the trip back home for six hours, seven hours of the trip back home or something, I feel like. And, you know, that was fun. We did. I asked questions to m &R and Just Too Good, and they gave us answers. It was really... You know, it was pretty casual. They weren't like super in-depth answers on things, but it was a lot of fun talking with everyone while we were driving around home. And I think that that's kind of, I don't know, I don't really want to do a lot of little live stream things like that necessarily, but like, I'm not against it, I guess. It was, it was fun overall, that's the point. So we've got our first sticker coming up, except for I think it's like one of the last stickers that we're supposed to have used, because we're building it backwards. Also, this one really should be a print. It's uh, da, 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 da. it's like a little printed console. I'm looking for a slow. Here it is. This thing's getting a print on it, or a sticker. Sorry, no, this is not a print. Um. It's getting this one right here. I'm not going to do that in camera because it's fiddly and small. I'm just going to do it. But I do have backup stickers. I don't think that's a thing that they're doing now. Could be wrong. But backup stickers are real nice because if I do mess it up, I can just redo it. Oh, we messed it up, kind of, a little bit. J-Mail's doing school right now. You probably don't need to be here. And that's not that bad. Look at you guys. Let me get it. It's hard to say. That's not the perfect sticker application, but it's definitely not bad, right? I'll take it. So we're building like a little can on it, looks like. I think this goes on top of the thing. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be honest with you, 100%. Did not barely look at the box before I do this. <clears throat> yeah. Bye, Grant. Thanks for joining. Uh, we got 16 viewers, guys. Thanks for showing up, people. We got 17 likes. If you haven't already liked, I would love to bother you to like. Oh, damn. I forgot to put the trigger piece in the little blasters. Oops. I know a lot of people don't care for the stud shooters, but I think they're cute and fun. And they don't look nearly as bad as people want them to. Like, people say, like, these look terrible, I can't believe they would do this. Oh, damn. I don't have this shield piece yet, I don't think. So that's my first one of those. Um, and it's getting a sticker, too. But it's on the Nexo shield part. So it's getting number nine. 
Damn, there's 10, 11, 12, 13. So I don't know if these are all going in this section or not. But anyways, that uh, number 9 gets put on here. Pepper juice. Thanks for showing up, guy. Um, we're going pretty good. I mean, we're on bag four of this set. So again, I do have that extra sticker sheet, so I'm not super worried about getting the sticker perfect, but I'd really like it to just be good the first time. Oh, man. That sticker is... The music is a vibe. Thank you. Um, yeah, there it is. Pretty close. It's real close to correct, I think. And then it clips in here. It shows it tilting up. So this is kind of fun. Like, we completed a stage. Like, we finish that little build and like, boom, stars, and boom, explosion, and showing you how to play with the thing. So that's kind of fun. So, not looking bad so far. Liking these weapon energy piece things. <laughs> yeah, we are on the first bag we've built, but we're building bag four, I guess, technically. Yeah, yeah. Ooh -wee. Um, so this is the next piece and ooh, we're getting we're getting these uh, big connector boys. Do we have things? We do, we have things that go on and those have holes. Ooh. Are we getting a modular esque base for this? Don't waste your Darn modular builds on Monkey Kid Lego. Ugh. I do like the bright pink, whatever that color is. Someone tell me that color's name. Maybe the number. Ozzy Bricks showing up. Hi, Ozzy Bricks. How many bags are there in total? There are four bags, Angel. There are four bags in this $30 set. And we are in bag number four, technically. See a little something there? It looks like cracking almost, but I think it's just kind of a like, weird mold mark. Do do, put in this thing. Do do, put in that thing. Hot pink. Yeah, I guess that could be hot pink. But what's the official Lego name? Because I don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up real quick. You guys, you guys mind hanging out and chat with me while I type into brick set and go to their color page. Yeah, no, I don't know why some sets don't have things sometimes, um, have, uh, bag numbers, but, like, whatever, I guess. Colors. Here we go. Brickset.com slash colors. And let's see. Color timeline? No, I don't want a color timeline. They've got, like, this picture that doesn't do me any good, but there's, like, a page on their website somewhere. Is it the large version of the palette image? Um, I'm pretty sure, looking at this large image, it does look like bright red violet, which is number 124. But we're gonna, we're gonna take another second here.
Yeah, I mean, people don't need to say hi to me. I'm, I'm the one they're here to see, so like if they're in the room, they're saying hi to me, if that makes sense. Um, but, you know. Da -da -da. Choose color family. Guess it's red. It's not red. Is there a pink color family? This is really bothering me what color this is. Purple? Let's go with purple color family and see if the pinks are in there. I think they probably are. Yeah, they're here. Um, yeah, I'm going with, ma it's magenta, but it's uh, is the common name for it, but bright reddish violet 124 is what we're going to go with for this color. I'm 90% sure. That's the color we're looking at. So, uh, 124 people, memorize that and there will be a test. Pepper says they are releasing in the U.S. tomorrow. Well, the U.S. is late. Because I already have them. <laughs> you guys, you guys know, you guys know Arthur, the you know the show about the aardvark, and it's got that Mimi, where the little girl sister is like, oh no, there's a huge sticker. Little girl is like, uh, that is, signs can't stop me. I can't read type thing. So, oh look at that, a new a new lightsaber hilt perhaps interesting it's not really it's kind of boring looking compared to the lightsaber hilt but it is symmetrical which I guess is nice also it's like squashed can you get I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that on this but it looks like um, uh, like it's like square around the stud so this massive sticker here number seven yeah, we're going we're going in a weird order for stickers. Uh, goes on this boy. Lego. Why do you do this to me? Also, there's like text there. I don't know if that's like legitimate characters or made up text, but someone translate that for me. Oh, Pepper Juice is all memorized for the test. You did all the you got all the Lego colors down. Real pain. I'm not doing this on camera. I'm, I'm doing it wave over here in the window lighting. Away from you guys, unfortunately. Oh no, I stuck it down and it's so big and massive. Again, I do have an extra one, I guess. What do you guys think? I'll leave a score for this in the chat. 1 through 10. 10 being perfect, um, one being missed the brick. I'm going to give this a seven. It's pretty close. You can see the, the margins aren't quite perfect, but it's like almost in the right spot. So I'm going to give that a personal seven. Lego Pete doesn't consume the memes. He just inhales the memes. He doesn't ever look at the memes. I'm so using that for Darth Maul's hilt. Cool. I think Darth Maul would probably be fine with that. Hilt. This shape. We're making some kind of technic apparatus here now. It's gonna be interesting, I guess. Let's see. Okay. Lots of little pieces going around. No, nope, I think I did that wrong. Yep, I did. Okay, let's try again. There you go. Sticker paper giveaway? I don't know about that. I'm gonna probably keep it and actually, like, put them on proper. <laughs> Try. This piece, don't know what it is. It's got a bars on the side, like bar holes collect connector, and it's got a cross axle on this side. It goes up and down. Yeah. And then we got some gears. Yeah, I don't know what this does. This is going to be some kind of play feature. 9.999 out of 10? No, you're wrong. That was definitely not 
almost perfect. It was definitely crooked, but I think it wasn't that bad. And then we got another one. Oh boy. We're putting more gears on. And there's another one. There is a cool. Oh. Then we have these energy blade things that go on it too. Okay. So, <laughs> I've just peeked ahead at the next instruction, which is a final stage instruction. This is the, this is the action. <laughs> it's bad. Um, it's got the POW! Wow, we did it! Thanks, thanks monkey kid. Um, but that's what you can do with it, is you can lower it and raise it. Yeah. Not in love with that. But this does connect to the side like I thought it did. Cool. Just snaps in. And then it looks like we're going to build another modular section with a little um, house bit. I'm going to make a little bob house, it looks like. Maybe a gel cell. It's hard to say. Um, bigger square, little rectangles. Clippies. So yeah, being that there's um, technic, double technic brick things on both sides of this build and this section. You see that? It's off the camera. No, it's in the camera. You know. Um, whatever. I think we're gonna be able to put them on both sides. And the skull goes here. Skull goes there. Yeah, it's a jail cell, damn it, not a house for him. I mean, it could be a house, I guess. We could give him a thing. <clears throat> Let's see what Ozzy Bricks asked. He says, he says, anyone else know big planes? I'm hoping, I hope his Southwest 737 gets 10,000 votes. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Lego ideas or something? Okay. Boop. Go here. Except for, we're putting on sticker 10 and 11. They're really crutching stickers. Like, if I did not put these stickers on, it wouldn't be as good. This is what it would look like with no stickers. But we're going to put the stickers on. Goes on this side. So ninety nine percent of the time, I don't know, not ninety, I guess seventy percent of the time, if you're stick, if you need stickers to make the details, <sighs> mediocre sets. Damn it, I put it on upside down. Put that sticker on upside down. Let's see if we can get it off. I do have extra stickers. It's coming up okay, guys. Don't be alerted. Alerted. So this is going to be the worst stickers yet. You can see a little corner that I pulled up there. And let's pull this piece off and do it. The Monkey Kid mech is massive. Um, hey, um, U350. None of that, please. Um, <laughs> he 
do be spamming though. So this is why I was confused. This is what this is the reason I messed up the figure. These are upright parts, which I guess is nice. Ten goes here, eleven goes here. Oops, there it is. But then on this, they're upside down, so it doesn't show them the same way, which is like, eh. I don't know if we're talking about the same mech. If you guys are saying it's small, like the biggest box I think was the giant mech. We filled an entire Mustang's trunk with them. So we put it on here, cool. And then we got panel walls. Panel wall. Door goes like this. We got a golden doorknob though. I guess that's brass probably. And that goes here. Come on. There it is. Better cool. It's not the size that matters the features. Um eh, it's hard to say. You can't say that the features don't matter, or the size doesn't matter because the size matters to the amount of pieces that it's allowed and you get more features on a set that has more pieces so everything plays into itself you can't say you can't say oh it doesn't matter how many you know how big the build is or how expensive it is because the though the more you add into it. We're adding. We're making a banner. It looks like big old command banner. Um, yeah, but the more pieces that are allotted to a set, the more play features it gets, and the more the price goes up, and the more you know mini figures it can have. And if those pieces are used properly, you're going to get more play features, and so on, and so on, and so on. So. We're putting those big pink pieces, they're gonna hang on there. But they get number eight times two. Number eight times two. It's those pink ones, obviously. Um, yeah, they put a lot of detail into the instructions. They're kind of making it like a little game because, like, here, so here's another one where the monkey kid is like sitting above the stickers, like he's popped out from behind it and he's like -la -la, wiggling the number eight and like put it on here. I think these are definitely like, I mean, it's a six plus, it's a six plus $30 set, so it's definitely aimed at children, and I feel like they, I don't know, I don't want to say they're, they're trying really hard to keep the child happy, but they're trying to make it fun for the child, I guess, you know, it's not just schematic, 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 it's a little comic and happy character and... Sticker one, that mediocre spaced. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Iron Man Endgame Polybag. Did I get it? Um, I don't remember. Which which one is that, man? Which one's the Iron Man Endgame Polybag? Oh, is that the one with Dummy? Yeah, I got that. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Mm. Almost equally exactly wrong. They're like exactly equally wrong. We did it. Bag four done. Connect. Block. 
engage. We got a handful of extra pieces. We got like a little spacer and some studs to shoot, of course, and the extra horn. A little extra little bull horn. We're gonna put those way back here. And we'll put them over there, that's fine. And so then we'll put Bob here. Feels good. Campbell Harrison, relax, dude. I'm going to have to relax you per forcibly. Um, yeah, the spammers be spamming. We got 23 likes, guys. Thanks for showing up. No, there's an extra... Nope, nope, there's no extra help. You're right. No extra hilts, but we've got three in the little banner thing. So, I mean, you could redo that with old hilts, and then you got new hilts. It's basically the same. Sorry doesn't cut it, champ. You, like, literally, like... Spammed. I think I can just do it once and do it again. I'll find out. Uh, yes, yeah, so you got 300 seconds um, timeout. So, you know, just don't do it again. What, wars for Bricks. Hi, thanks. <laughs> yes, Ozzy, it wasn't a pro game move. <clears throat> so. Uh, it's very excited that I finished the build, like, completely. It's like, BOW! <laughs> but I haven't. So, oh, let's move on. Now, Grant and Ozzy, you guys need to, you know, relax. No, no arguing, but... Oh, we can get the Instruction Plus. Instruction Plus. So, uh, I'm kind of excited, I guess, to see this monkey kid. Bag one. The Stand in the Iron Pirely Bag. Get three of them and be roughly the size of the Monkey Kid Mech. Eh. Are we talking the Monkey Kid Mech or the Monkey King? Like, so I don't. I'm gonna tell you here. Because I only vaguely saw them, we like literally went to the store, we saw them, I was like, this one has Bob, which I already know is the best character, so I bought it, and I didn't ponder the other ones too much, because of the prices, and because of my disinterest, because of, oh wow, Monkey King Staff gets the new hilt too, Monkey Kid Staff, I'm gonna have a hard time with that, because Monkey King is a beloved character, Monkey Kid is a made up one. Bag one time. The 151? You're saying it's only three... Three of those stands tall? I don't know. It's massive looking, on the box at least, so... The whole thing's fine. For me. Looks... Is that a five length bar? That is, right? That's a longer bar. Um, how can I tell this? I don't have any bars lying around right now. But yeah, no, that looks longer. I guess we can like line up four. Nope, I'm wrong. It's a four length bar. It just looks longer because I'm tired, probably. <clears throat> Bag two now. Fortnite? Fortnite? What? What? I don't know what you're talking about, Grant. So, is so it whatever thing because of the square nature of these pieces? Like. You do gotta fiddle slightly to get them like in line with each other. But like I guess you can put it down the thing like this. Yeah, that was in depth. Look at this cool art they're telling me to do. It's just like bam art. I keep getting new art, so the city ship cargo ship. I don't know. I don't know which one exactly. Oh cool, so they like introduced you to the character Monkey Kid, but they didn't introduce you to Bob. That sucks. We do get an extra, I'm looking right here, I see an extra one of these um, headphones around the neck pieces. That's kind of cool. Do that. Let's give him, let's see what faces we got, honestly. I was going to say, let's give him the smiley face like they say the instructions. He's got this very relaxed smiley face and he's got that 
Oh, he's got literal coal face. He's literally Cole's mustache. No, eyebrows, whatever they are. Let's give him the fun one. Let's give him the fun one first, because um, we're having a fun stream today, guys. Just a fun, fun, happy stream. Uh, he also has a monkey pattern on his back. Cool. And on the front, I already covered it up, but there's like a spoon and some Chinese, quote unquote, I don't know, characters. He's got some pattern on the side of his legs. He's got the pattern on the front of his legs. Eh. I don't know what that is. Is it a cloud? Is it a cloud in the car keys thing? Yeah, it's a four length pepper and wheat. I figured it out. I do like this hair piece though. It's a headband with the like slick back hair. Very well done. It's gotta be Donald, right? Let me check here. I can't tell exactly. It's hard to see. I think it looks Donald. I mean, it's printed on the back side if it is, which so probably not, but I'm going to say Dolan Olden. And we give him the magic staff. I assume it's an extendo staff. It looks very long altogether. Look how long that thing is. And like I said, the interview should have Do a gaming channel. Um, no. I don't want a gaming channel. So I think we're building the like hoverboard thing first. I guess this is the, so we haven't even talked about this at all yet during the stream, which we'll, I'm gonna hopefully like mention in the review if I remember, but so like really like Kung Fu movies personally and Journey to the West being a classic story. It's a book, I believe, right? In China, we get a lot of Kung Fu movies based on, you know, themes of it or um, using literal story arcs as their own or just remakes of it. There's lots of different remakes. The purple stud showing up. Welcome to the stream, dude. A sports fan. Speaking of which, how are all the sports fans doing out there today? It's, I don't, I mean, I've been kind of talking and asking as we've been going, but like, can I get a big, like, doing good in the chat? Say something, you know. Give me, let me, let me know you're, you're feeling, you're feeling good. Let me, let me know. This is kind of a fun shape, big thing they did here with little whoops. And then we're gonna use these. So it's times four. So it's these printed um, two by two rounds with the hole in the middle, the donut tile. But they're printed to look like fans. And then that's going on top of the ninety degree Jedi stick and underneath goes a one by one round tile in transparent light blue and then they stick on the edges like that yeah can i make it into a car yeah well i can turn it into a car if i wanted i'll do that in a minute Oh wee Building. So I'm gonna tell you guys. The studio not set up super perfect for live streaming. It's a little warm in here. Cause I don't have the fan on. I don't have the vents open because I don't want them blowing on the the camera, making the noise. I mean maybe that's just me. Maybe I should just forget you guys. Just do me. Cool myself off. Have a good old time. Those yellow pieces are going on a curved surface of the board. It doesn't exactly matter, I guess, which one goes on which side, because they can always just spin it around. But there's a, like, they're like stickers, I think. I think they're literally stickers in universe for his skateboards. There's a cloud, another cloud around, like, an earth, a symbol, a monkey, like, that's a monkey face upside down, and then, like, a fist, maybe? Looks kind of like a fist or maybe some symbols, I don't know. Um, did you get the Brick Saber with set? Yeah, it came in this first bag. It's a wowie colored Brick Separator. Very cool.
Pepper says, I feel cool because Ash gave me a shout out yesterday because I become him. Kind of confusing, but cool. That's cool. So we're going to look at this. Uh, look at the spacing around there. It's like so narrow. There's not much space. There's a little bit of room for wiggle and the stick, but that's going to get messed up. Like, that is not a 6 plus sticker. That should have been... That should have been printed. And possibly in all the sets so that they could justify printing it. The stickers are cool, but also stickers. There are... 13 stickers in the scent, according to this being the highest number that I can see on this sticker sheet. Sorry you guys don't get to see me put these stickers on, but this is just too high stakes. So the monkey-faced one goes at the front, and that's the build. But John, um, this is the explosion effect again. So they don't show it, but look at this that I've already figured out. You can just turn these, and the spacing is like almost perfect to turn it into a little car. And it actually like sits off the ground and everything. If you push it down, you can see the monkey coming up. So that's interesting. It's getting like a cool pose, and we'll put the wings out again. Yeah, it's a ton of stickers for a small stick, Cafe Con Lego. Thanks for showing up. By the way, I don't think I said hello to you. Exactly. Purple says it's a little nice. Yeah. So, not every sticker needs printed, and I will... <clears throat> This is hard for me to do, but I'm going to defend stickers here. Stickers are good when it's a nice, simple space. When it's a rectangle shape to put it on. This one's uh, getting weird because it's like a technically a textured piece on there. So it's uh, not my favorite. But basically, anytime it's a basic rectangle shape and it's uh, two by two brick side size or bigger. I would say is like, yeah, go ahead. Let me let me put the sticker on there. I'll be fine. And some younger sets shouldn't have stickers. 100% younger younger kids. No, don't yeah, don't give children stickers. That's not cool. This is his weapon. It's like a digital cleaver. Yeah, printing on is cool. It's the same as printing on Bob though. The literal difference between him and Bob is the horn placement. Snort's not cool. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we were, I vaguely mentioned it, it Lego's so obsessed with the drones that they even found a way to make a skateboard one. I mean, kinda. Um, the legend of the Monkey King, like, same thing as like Dragon Ball, there's a magic cloud that he flies around on. So like, that's, that's an amalgamation type of modernization thing of a, of a cloud. It's, it's a flying thing. That he can swoosh and eh, it adds some play feature. Uh, it's hard for me to. Uh, I like it fine. I like the stickers on it. The designs on it look really fun, but they were stickers. So, anyways, stickers on curved surfaces. No, stickers should not be on curved surfaces. Also, really, really large stickers. Not a fan of because they're really easy to tell they're off. Like this sticker here is crooked. Hundred percent hard to tell. It's also like a grid up, a gritty, broken up, you know, piece of armor. So if it's crooked, whatever. This is also gritty and whatever. But like, you can definitely tell exactly where the sticker starts. It's not the exact same color, which isn't maybe their fault. I don't know. I guess whose fault is it if it's not theirs? But like, you can see exactly where it starts, and you can definitely see because of the size of the sticker. You can see that it's just it's so much more obvious that it's crooked. But that's just my opinion. Aussie Bricks, I can't escape any LEGO stream I go to. I see that account. I'm not afraid of things, but something ca Cafe Con. Okay. I already have it, Lucas VB. I sure do, because I'm an epic LEGO man. 
Bag number two. Yeah, it's an interesting thing. Um, forever ago, when it was like first circulating, there was whispers of a Monkey King theme called Monkey Kid. I was like, cool, Journey to the West. Love me some, some kung fu movies. Gonna love this theme. It's Ninjago. And anyone who tells you it's not, it's lying. I mean, yeah, we'll see. Currently, it's very Ninjago feel. So we've got two faces on her, too. Oh, cool, I do get a hair. I was gonna say, do I only get a helmet, but I get a hair, cool. So, it's showing me that I can put the hair on the figure. Not bad looking, got the dragon swirl, but like literally that's a, it's techno, start. It's a techno dragon. But like having a dragon pattern like that is literally a thing that Jago's done multiple times, so. Mm. Hair's cool though, it's printed green on that stripes with the space buns. And then we also have the angry face. Eh, eh, not bad. I like it. It's definitely not the worst one. And then let's put our helmet on. Ooh, that looks pretty good actually though. It kind of looks like a dragon mouth, dragon face on her helmet. And I think that's is that Iron Man or Ant Man's helmet design. Dunno. Lots of it's telling me, like I said, it does very much tell me. It's like, hey, you can switch the hair and it's the same character. And again, for children. Okay, it's for children. I don't need that because I'm better than children at building Lego. Oh, wee. So, controversial uh, opinion time. What do you guys do with your bags when you open them? Do you set them in a neat pile or do you just toss them across the room? That's the dragon hilt from Ninjago. Literally the dragon hilt from Ninjago, but in white, which, like, actually, but literally Ninjago, and then that's a mix of sword piece. Yeah. There it is. Dragon lady. Uh, it's a hard plastic, by the way. Chat's getting pretty crazy. We got 13 people in here all hanging out and doing cool stuff. 25 likes. Nice, guys. Usually I aim for like 30 is my goal, but you know what? I'm thinking... Let me, hear me out. Hear me out, guys. Can we get 40? Can we get 40 like a Reno's on this a live stream monkey child build? Red brick. I like when they do stuff like that and they just have a nice, easy to find piece that's not a, you know, exact same color as everything. And then I assume this is going to be hidden because it's pretty much the first step, so. Ow. I stabbed myself on that brick. I just stack them in a pile until they fall over. That's a good way to do it. Cafe Con Lego puts the bags in the box. IDKY, it just seems tidy. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to put them in the trash, but, like, I'm building now. I ain't got time for trash. This is real time. This is this is my time. We're throwing them across the room, getting them out of the way. Just yeeterino. That's what the children say, and I'm knowledgeable about things they like because I've got Monkey Kid, right? Mon monkey Kid. Um, man keeps them in one place, then I go to the trash. I mean, they're all in one place on the floor, like they belong. Trying to figure out what step I'm on because I got on a tangent of yelling about the bags. Panel. Putting in a little peg. This thing. Oh, damn. You know, I just realized it's a car. I hate building cars. That's probably fine. Uh, 
I don't know why, like, I read the name of the thing and I was like, eh, it's a, I mean, I saw the picture and I was like, it's a big car, but it comes with Bob, so we'll get it. Um, but then I've like, kind of, con- I, I kind of tricked myself into believing it wasn't a car. Look at this color. That just, is that just bright green? It's just, in context with like this green, the neon green, it just kind of feels brighter. Maybe it is brighter. Um, okay, cool. Anyways, like I was saying, is I kind of convinced myself that it was a dragon horse. It's not. It's a car. Ape child. Yeah. My bags are still on the floor, pub horn. The orangutan adolescent. That's a pretty funny one. I'll give you that one. The purple stud. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Well, so here's the thing, right? Science can't prove that. Can we get that on? This piece. Clip here. Step 13. Uh, it says, Ozzy Brick says, So I was interested in boats for a long time, also because I had family in the Navy. And it's interest and is interested in cargo carriers. I was excited the cargo ship set until I opened up and saw the inside. I haven't seen the inside yet. I've like literally not watched the reveal videos. Like I see a ton of them on my feed and I'm like, ugh. Reveal day. And I'm sure a lot of you sports fans out there uh, feel the same way when they reveal things is that like your entire feed just fills up with nothing but this whatever it is and everyone posts it. And like, yeah, I get it. You're excited, but like... I'm not coming to most of the people I follow. I don't follow for Lego news. I follow them for their opinions on things, at the very least. If not, um, if not, I'm following them for um, like you know the the builds they build, or you know even yeah. I mean, opinions and opinions and reviews are pretty similar, I suppose. So like you know, I missed us. It's the golden, golden eyeball. Missed the spot again. There it is. We're building a horse face. Thanks, Nexo Knight. The white drawn bounty hunter is so cool. Very cool. Doing this on both sides. I guess that looks fine. We got some glowing bits. This is sticker number two. We still have so many. We've got five stickers for this build. Sticker number two. Did I miss number one, one? I don't think so. I think they literally are just going out of order to be quirky. Very cool Lego Ninjago. Sorry, it's not Ninjago. That was a joke, I know it's not Ninjago. I was making a, making a funny. About how. I feel like all these sets could have been Ninjago sets. So this is poop. The sticker was cut bad. The sticker is crooked. Look at the like, amount of gray, the silver patterning. My sticker's almost perfectly in the center, but look at how much, there's so much more gray on this side than this side. You see that? Yeah. Unlucky 13 spooky. 
You guys remember that spooky episode of Unikitty? That was like the first one that came out. The spooky game. I don't know, I like the Unikitty show. The episodes I saw were fun. Animation was kind of weird. Obviously very, very juvenile, but like almost, like, I don't know. It, something about it was charming in a way, but like, I also didn't watch all the episodes, so I don't know. But I guess it's over now, so don't have to wonder. Wasn't charming enough? Oh, you know what I just thought of? Yeah. I was gonna say, was this sticker sheet just cut bad so they gave me another one? How would they know that? We're putting another sticker on, by the way. It's also crooked as hell, like, okay. Look at the lines. It's crooked, so I didn't put it on perfectly straight. This one's a little crooked on me, but look at this line here and that line there. They like literally, the, the, the Y shape here is not even. And look at the amount left on the page. You see that line that I could have had? Really mediocre. Really, really mediocre. That's, that's really upsetting to me actually. Like, probably more than it should be. So we have this, put this curve, it's got a little action arrow, and then put this here. There it is again, it clicked. So it can't go down, because if you do, it pops off because of this piece. And it can't go farther back. It's like, I don't know if it's... Yes. I guess there's a little bit of room there. I was gonna say, it hits this piece pretty good too, so like, there's literally that much motion on that clip. I don't know if it's even in the... Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's not much room. It's... That's... Ugh, that's rough. I'm, that's not getting the, That's not getting top scores from me, unfortunately, guys. I skipped a step somewhere. Yeah, I did. Cool. This piece... these pieces. Ta -da. Some extras. Yeah, that's some real bad stickering. That's really upsetting actually. Like this is, I mean, I don't know, it's hard to say because I was gonna say this is a kind of expensive set to be having bad stickers, but it is one of the cheapest sets for a monkey kid. We're on a bag three. BTW. Ta-da. So because we did bag four first, this is our last bag. I can move this part, you're saying? Man, I can move this. I can move this. I don't know, because like... I don't know, not in love. Yeah. Dragon is straight vibing to the music. He always is a cool guy. Do you not like the music? Is it is it too poppy and blip 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 blip, blip kind of music? Is that the problem, Mahan? Because <clears throat> if you if you guys suggest music, I can use it if it's royalty free or copyright free. I can give royal uh, no no. I if it's attribution free, I don't have to say anything like this one is, but I can. Um, uh, I can I can post ones with attribution. I can put the name of it or whatever, you know, in the description or whatever. But in general, you know, uh, I need ones that are free to use and won't destroy me. <clears throat> 
Well, the purple stud, I paid 30 for it, so I don't know... I mean, it's, it is, it's literally 359 pieces. No, 259 pieces, sorry, with four minifigures. Right there. 259 pieces. Um, $30 seems fine. 35 is expensive, though. Is that what they're saying this is going to cost? Because I literally didn't pay that much for it. I paid um, 30 Putting on sliders on the horse dragon belly. <sighs> Those wheels are freaking out. No wheels. It's a weird pattern. Grant says it's 60. Damn. Regular retail price is going to be 35. Wow. That's expensive. Yeah, I don't know. If it, I was on the fence at $30, honestly. Uh, four figures and the piece count. But I was like, there's some big pieces. Like, I could get it. Because there's like these big things I saw. And there's the big armor piece here from the Nexo series. Um, I don't know. That's like, I don't know. Thirty-five. I would have been okay. So here, let me let me tell you honestly. Thirty-five. I would have bought it because we were going to get them early, and I wanted this Bob set. I wanted to get Bob, and I was like, cool, we can do it. It's easy. Actually, I put this on backwards. Wow, well, because the thing did a thing. It's did a. You, you know what symbol is really cool? This symbol. What the hell does that mean? It's flipped one way and the other way at the same time. Anyways, yellow is the indicator light that goes up front, and the red is the brake light which goes in the back. Uh, Lego Pete 3, what should I use my $25 Lego gift card for? And people are saying Lego, which is fine. And what themes are you into? That's good. Um, for a $25 one, I would say, and hear me out on this one, is you should probably consider getting um, like bricks and pieces off the website when that's up. I don't think it's up right now. Could be wrong. Or... If you're a real big, real big brain kind of person, um, just go for the stuff that you like. So the hardest part about tires is making sure you get them in line, and if you squish them around and they don't pop off, they're probably in line. So. Not terribly obvious where these go. So I did put them on the wrong side basically, but like <laughs> build the wheels, attach them. It doesn't show you which holes to put them in. And I'm pretty sure this can only be this this like last most hole, because I put them in this one. I mean it kind of fits, but like look at it wonking. That's wrong obviously. But six-year-olds. So it's hard to say. You can't it's hard to say that they didn't put attention into these instructions, because they obviously did. They got the little the little guy walking along the bottom. That's the progression bar of the build. But like You know, they, they literally put attention into this and they just like throw you into a beast hole with this set sometimes. There it is, it's done. Right? That's it. Finarino. It's not. Um, I don't know why they were so big on that, like, step being like an explosion finish step. I guess it's because the wheels are on. 
think I'd be doing this in camera though, actually. Eh. You're really difficult. What shall I buy? I would buy Red Sun Inferno truck, but it's 200. Pretty good in this build, I think. Not hating anything yet. Yeah, that's not true. Not happy about a lot of it. Oh boy, speaking of sticker time. Just when you think you're out, they bring you back in. So this is number two. No, five. Okay, number five. Number four and number five are like mirrored versions of each other, except the one has like a little output thing or a warning decal. So this is not the build, I did it wrong. It's this thing. That, and then you get a gold piece there. And then it goes on this way. That piece goes there, so let's do it. So the other kind of pieces that I don't think like should have stickers, well, they're not hard exactly. But the longer a piece is, the more chance you have for like obvious crookening. So like this piece from any kind of distance looks fine. But if you look up real close, you can see that on this end, I have it pretty close to center, but by this end over here, it's definitely leaning top way. And we do it again. Uh, the purple stud. Does anyone remember those odd licensed thirteen dollars sets? Seems like they just stopped making them. The most recent example they were Angry Birds, the Batman vs Superman rooftop battle. One. Was the how much was the Batman vs Superman one? I thought that one was fifteen. I don't. I want to say I paid fifteen for it. I don't know. So the other thing to remember with all this, and this is a great point to make. Manufacturer suggested retail value is that Lego says what they think it should be and then lots of places change it weirdly. So like a lot of times they could be like, hey, it's a $10 set and someone's like, $13 sounds pretty fair to me and then they charge you that for it and then you don't get to do anything about it. Apparently the Chinese characters are simplified. Do you think they should release the Chinese traditional character version for Hong Kong some more Taiwan? No. If it's, I mean, so that's like saying, I don't know, it, there's not a real good English analogy to it, but I would say that in my limited opinion and knowledge of the Chinese language, the Mandarin language, um, Damn, that's a lamp. <laughs> so in my limited knowledge of all of it, I would say um, that it's kind of like saying like print versus cursive-ish. It's not exactly the same. Um, that's not the exact perfect way to like represent it, as far as I know. But like, if they're going to have it simplified, isn't that easier for like some people to read, like specifically children? If it's not, then I, I don't know, but... Pepper Juice officially named himself... PLC. No, I'm definitely not the number one. Yeah, that's... Man says that the build minis are 9 euros instead of uh, 5 euros. Ours are 10? I think, right? That seems right. 9.99 for... That's dollars, US... We're putting another sticker on, by the way. I didn't mention it because I was talking. 
But anyways, to finish that thing about the simplified versus traditional characters, um, if I don't think it's offensive, as far as I know, to like write something in one or the other. So like, no opinion really there. Um, but if it's simpler, because that, and you always call it simplified, maybe it really doesn't mean simpler, but if it's simplified, that just means easier for more people to read. Especially, the thing is that it's not only released in Chinese countries. I don't know. It's kind of like the same thing, like, if they were to put a set with, like, you know, cursive script really stylized on the side of it, versus putting a simple print pattern, I think a lot more people... Excuse me, I burped. A lot more people can read the simplified, you know, print version of English words, whereas if you have the cursive, people could know the meaning by, like, knowing what the word is and stuff, or knowing what the build is, but, like, not necessarily are going to be able to read it. Because, like, I can't even, like, I'll be driving down the road sometimes and you see a restaurant in real life, and it's got some weird sign on the front, and you're like, what the heck is that thing? And then you stare at it, and you stare at it, and you stare at it, and you're like... Oh, it's some kind of food or something, you know, like, what was it trying to tell me? So, don't know. So that's an adjustment. Is it just meant to be cool and tilted down? I don't know if it's meant to, to aim or something, because it obviously doesn't aim. But... Trigger piece in. Sometimes they take a lot to put in, I feel like. I'm glad that this piece, like, honestly, I could see this little slope getting a sticker in a set like this, and I'm glad it doesn't. There it is. <clears throat> Doop. showing you how to shoot them, and then, wow, it's showing you that you can put it into, like, attack version, like, attack positions. Maybe make it fly? I don't know. Um, I think this, I think, yeah, it does, it shows it. This is to hold the weapon. It's a literal robot arm sticking up because they couldn't find anywhere to put a clip, I guess. And then... You lay her all the way forward, make sure she's got her helmet on, I assume, and she can reach the handlebars. Why is it not rolling? So this piece just pushes down on it and you gotta tilt it up. Okay, cool. So guys, that's the build. Yeah, I think Justin... Justin got all the sets, for sure, and I think Ryan got most of them. <clears throat> yeah, Justin could definitely got the mech in my head, so don't worry about it. 90, 90, 90, 90% sure. I don't really care for Ninjago sets most of the time, and I'm not super in love with any of the... Like, none of them jumped off the box and were like, this is the set for me of the Monkey Kid. Um, except for Bob, of course. And he's in one of the other big sets too, I think, but... Our boy! Bobby! It's kind of lame that their heads don't have a print. I, I think they're like generic faceless demons that are like meant to be disposable so they don't have personality. Except for Bob does, and they have names, so like, that's weird. Have you had any issue with never used minifigures with broken arms? I have not, Lucas. I've never uh, had issues with that, so I mean, it's probably a thing that could happen. Ryan got at least three sets, yes, I believe he did. The purple stub. Um, you guys got anything, like, big you want to ask me? Because we've been going for, like, an hour and a half now, so we'll end it around... Uh, we got six more minutes, I'll say. We'll hang out, and we'll talk about stuff in the set if you got any questions. And then I got to do a review on this and get it for Justin. Because this is the only set I got, but it won't... But Justin tells me, he says, that's the set that I want to review first. And he might... Yeah, I don't know. I think he I think he posted pictures of it on Instagram already. Did he post this? He hasn't posted this review, because you guys wouldn't be here, right? You already saw this set. <clears throat> you guys like me, though, right? So, you would, maybe. Oh. I just realized... 
they're running the barricade in this magic bike. Oh no, I can't get through. Open up the gate. Room. A minifigure I literally just built and left in display was cracked at the side of the torso about one month later. Noticed it while dusting it off, says Lucas. Um, I've heard of people... I've heard of people saying that they put things on display, but like, I don't want to like blame you, because I don't know. It's very possible it was broken, or some kind of defect that you couldn't have controlled, but like most of the time I think it's people displaying them in front of hot lights, or the window maybe, I don't know. But um, <clears throat> Was there new Ninjago sets there? No, no, there wasn't anything new other than this as far as I know. Um, the boys checked it out for me, because like I'm not into Ninjago, so I wouldn't have even probably noticed if they hadn't told me. There were some cool sets though that like were like, eh, maybe. Um, the Purple Sub wants to know, thoughts on minions as a theme and brickheads potentially? Uh, and the brickheads potentially being cancelled or at least postponed. So, gonna need the brickheads. Yeah, the minions brickheads are, are postponed or whatever. Um, I need the brickheads if they come out. The minion theme looks fine. I definitely want a couple of them uh, just to like have, but I don't know. I don't know. Not not sure which ones I would get. Maybe I don't know. Probably I want to say I want to get the big one, but it's big and it's expensive and it's like eh. So mm, not sure. We got 31 likes, guys. Uh, I do want to throw out real quick is that I was. You know, begging for 40, but uh, if you haven't liked, already like, but most of you guys already liked, so I'm not I'm not bummed by that at all. Um, yeah, yeah it's a, it's a de this is a this looks like a decent set. You know, I think that I think that it's worth um, considering uh, buying. Let's put some ammo in there. Bob is worth the price of the mission. Our lovely Bob. You get a lot of stuff to play with. Brick separator is cool. Price of admission for the brick separator, maybe. Yeah, uh, Purple says I'm recommending the bike chase minion set. I mean, that's my, that'll probably be the one I end up with unless they come out with like a. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what other sets they come out with. Um, two, two, two. As much as everyone talks about how badly the reveal was handled, I mean, it was literally just revealed today, right? Do you agree that there was always attention given to and aimed at China? So I don't know the Chinese market. The Chinese market is huge, and Lego is already there. They love Lego in China, from what I understand, because they keep getting Lego sets and stuff. They're getting Lego lands, and they're getting a bunch of Lego stores and stuff, so... I would say is that Lego is big there, they know that, and they wanted to pick a non, you know, Western thing to base things on, but they already have Ninjago, but, like, Ninjago isn't China, so, like, I get that. I don't know. It's weird because, like, China has a lot of weird rules about things, so, like... I assume Ninjago is fine there, but I don't know. The point being is that yes, I think that it was this was always made for China. It wasn't really for anyone else. Um, but they like gave it to us because it's a real theme. And since they're making them, they might as well. And I think a lot of people are going to like them. Uh, Lucas says, by appealing to customers with China Chinese-related and traditional sets, which look really beautiful. Did you say something else? Chinese huge market, like it maybe trying to get larger there. Yeah, they're definitely trying to get larger there. I mean, why not? Why would you? So yeah, um, they definitely have put a lot of attention into the sets for the Chinese market. So yeah. this set. So I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna do a full review, but this set isn't bad. Not the best. I don't know if any of the sets are bad. They're not necessarily my thing necessarily. So that may be what I take from it, but. It's fine. Uh, 
Um, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna mention another stream, ma'am, someone else streaming right now, let them yeah, let them know about that because I'm about to drop out and go breakfast time. <clears throat> it's 11:48 here, so I'm pretty pretty ready for some food and such. And then I'll do a review, and I'll have that review up hopefully this afternoon. I don't know about the tank set that you're talking about, the purple stud. Is there a tank? Is there a tank in Monkey Kid? <coughs> oh, hello there, Mr. T. You literally just missed the stream, I think, unfortunately. The tank man situation, yeah, there was a... It's a thing that they like to pretend that nothing happened, so... Um, yeah, it's, it's very political, so I don't really want to get into that. B, it controls everything. Um, go with B. Oh, there is a bull tank thing. I guess you're right. I don't know. It doesn't feel like a tank. I don't know. It feels like a robot enemy. I guess it is tank. I don't know the name of it. Is it called tank? Yeah, I know the tank man story. It's a whole thing, but we're not going to get into that in here. Getting that referral. He's got to get that referral on this. So. Anyways. Um, so that was a good stream, guys. Thank you all for showing up. We got 34 likes. That's real good. Um, I think we got a lot of uh, good building in today. I definitely needed to now download and time lapse the build so that I can use it in the video. But yeah, anyways.